Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how you can define a function in Python and the function which we are going to define today is for data filtering task and we will be using Butterworth filter. So let's begin. So to define a function you have to use keyword def and for example we are going to define butter and we will be defining a low pass filter. So then you have to give the input arguments. The first input argument should be the cut off frequency. So cut off frequency. Second, you will need sampling frequency or sampling rate. Sampling rate. And then you will be using the order. So uh, by default we will set the order to 2 so in python we have a library which has a butterworth filter make sure you have installed it and you can type in the library is scipy so let's set and then you can write the code so for sampling the first the and most important the first and the most important thing is necklace criteria so just to find the necklace criteria it is necklace equals to half of the sampling frequency sampling rate. So normal cutoff will be cutoff frequency divided by necklace criteria. The function will return numerator and denominator. So we will need a two variable to store the numerator and denominator. So the way it is also showing over here, you will define the order first, then normal cutoff frequency, then you will use B type and as we are defining a low pass filter so we will use low analog is majority false so just write false and then you have to return so in this case we will require only numerator and denominator to be returned so this is how you define a function let's define function for high pass better word filter let's define it like this high pass filter same input arguments top frequency sampling rate and order not maximum then six so just two again you have to call the library scipy dot signal and call button you have to define the necklace criteria again Cutoff range will be cutoff frequency divided by necklace, and again it will return numerator and denominator. So you have to define two variables 
we are going to use better order normal frequency range the type this time it will be high sorry you have to define it in inverted comma single inverted comma and and allow it to be false return D and A so in this way you can define high pass filter and also if you want to define a band, band pass filter so mm, the only change in the band pass filter will be uh, you will require two cutoff frequency so let's define a band pass filter So you will need a low cutoff and high cutoff frequencies, sampling rate and order should be 2. Same library because it has the better with filter signal for better uh, all the process is almost same as defined the nexus criteria make sure it's zero not O because you see here I have made a I have made a mistake so it should be zero Sampling rate. This is also sampling rate. And now you have to define the low normal cutoff. Which will be low. Of to by matrix and high normal cutoff. Which will be high cutoff to by matrix again. Two variables will be returned numerator and denominator. We will use butter, then order. Now we will define an array to have a low and high normal. Low and high normal cutoff. And the type will be band pass. Or only band because uh, this is how the keyword works, and then we will return numerator and denominator. So, this is how you can define your functions. Uh, this there should be a comma in between. This. So, this is how you define functions in uh, Python and. This is how you can define low pass, high pass, band pass, and as well as uh, band stop filter. So this will be it for this video. And in this video, I hope you have learned how you can define a function in uh, Python and how you can define a filter function in the Python. In the next tutorial, I will show you how you can use these filters and how you can do filtering using these functions so up till then uh, stay safe please subscribe and like